all very happy when our children get married. We will have to embrace a daughter-in-law or a son-in-law. Let's see how the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam dealt with his son-in-law. One day the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came to the home of his daughter Fatima Radiallahu Anha. And he never sees Sayyidina Ali Radiallahu Anhu and he saw that Fatima was very angry. So he asked, Oh Fatima, Aina ibn Ammik, where is your cousin? So she said, Waqa'a shay'un bayni wa baynahu. There was a heated discussion between us. Faghadabani. We both got angry, he made me angry. Fatarak al bayt, he left the home. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam then asked one of the Sahaba to go and see where is Ali radiallahu anhu, his son in law. They found him raqidan fil masjid, sleeping in the masjid. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam then walked to the masjid and came to Ali. The top garment of Ali radiallahu anhu fell off and it became embroiled in the sand. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gently picked up his garment and said, Ya Aba Turab, O oh, the father of sand. <laughs> Ali radiallahu anhu awoke. He paid respect to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gently took his hand, brought him back home, and subhanallah, with some light-hearted talk, made friends between his daughter and his son-in-law, Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Looking at this story, the ulama mentioned a few points. Number one, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came to his daughter's house. When he realized that she was angry with her husband, he never provoked the matter or probe into it, Rather, he mentioned an, a word by saying, Ain ibn Ammik, where is your cousin? That shows that he tried to show relationship and Ali being a relative of Sayyidatuna Fatima radiallahu anha to try to bring her heart closer to her husband. Secondly, when Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked Fatima radiallahu anha, where was Ali? She just said, Waqa'a shay'un bayni wa baynahu. There was a dis discussion and a heated argument between us and she stopped there. She never go on to tell the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam the details of her fight. Nor did the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam try to probe it and ask her, Oh yeah, Ali is fighting with you. What did he do? What did he say? No. Then, not only that, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went to go and find his son-in-law and then when he saw his son-in-law, he used the most gentle of words, Ya Aba Turab, or oh, the father of sand, because the sand was on the clothes of Sayyidina Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu, or oh, the one covered in dust. He used a light word, and that's why Ali radiallahu anhu loved that word so much, that whenever anyone called him Ya Aba Turab, he would get very happy indeed. So subhanallah, he won the heart of his son-in-law. No questions asked. These difficulties and these subhanallah heated arguments happened between husband and wife. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam overlooked that. He took his son-in-law's hand with a lot of affection and came and mended the home of his son-in-law and daughter. From here, my beloved, subhanallah, it is important we realize and understand when we get our daughters married and we get a son-in-law, we have not lost our daughters. In fact, we have won over a son. And when we get our sons married, we have not lost a son, but we have gained a daughter. Be kind to your daughter-in-law. Be kind to your son-in-law. And when your daughter and son comes with complaints, do not, subhanAllah, welcome it. Especially if it is not urgent, if it's not of an emergency nature, subhanAllah, try to allow them to settle their own differences. And let us give guidance from beyond and treat them with fairness and justice. It is very, very wrong that we take someone else's daughter and allow her to slog in our homes and become a servant or treat someone else's son as we would not love our sons to be treated. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the quran Kareem mentions the relationship of in-laws and he says Nasaban wa sihra counting his favors upon you is your relationship with blood and your relationship 
by means of marriage. So your father-in-law and mother-in-law needs to be respected just as how you respect your own parents. And subhanAllah, respect and love and cherish your son-in-law and your daughter-in-law just as how you would do with your own daughter and your own son. And when you do that, then you will see when your daughter-in-law or your son-in-law feels loved and cherished by the family, then insha'Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they will treat our children better. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us love and unity and peace in all our relationships. Uh-huh.